Welcome everybody, my name is Bree and I wanna welcome you to this 20 minute upper body specific chisel workout. Now so far over the last couple weeks we've done a full body, last week we did a lower body and so today we are gonna give you a 20 minute upper body focused workout. We're gonna start by warming up the body. We always take a couple minutes here in the beginning. Hello, hello, if you're coming in live and replay crew, I always see you guys as well. Take a nice big deep breath in with me. Our 20 minute starts right now. Big breath, lift up and exhale. Good, two more just like that. And I want you to start to set the intention for today, which is that you are gonna push your body, but safely in a nice range of motion. And we are gonna get strong together. Good, now go ahead and step side to side. I just want you to twist out the body. Now you're gonna see some similar moves that we did upper body wise in our full body chisel. And then we're gonna add on that. Now just like the lower body, we're gonna do every move for one minute. Although I am gonna separate the first blocks into two because I'm gonna have you set a certain dumbbell weight if you're using your select tech dumbbells with me today for those specific moves. There he is, hi Sebastian. Okay, come to the side, we're gonna go into a squat and then a big sweep overhead. And this is gonna start to warm up our entire body. That's okay, Sebastian. Actually, that's a perfect segue. So Sebastian is not in his normal surroundings, doesn't have his dumbbells with him today. Guess what? You can still do this with body weight. What you're gonna work on today, Sebastian, is your range of motion and getting into the positions and mapping out the biggest range of motion you can. And you're still gonna feel it because we're gonna have isometric contractions happening as we go. So don't worry at all, I'm glad you're here. Good, one more side to side. Sink low, reach tall. Good, now we're gonna walk out to an inchworm plank rotation. So keep your core tight, walk all the way out. And give me a rotation side to side. Come back, and we're gonna repeat that. Now I'm watching the clock, we're gonna do this for another 30 seconds. Inchworm is such a great way to warm up the entire body. Focusing on the core, upper body stabilizing, and then that rotational movement really gets the job done. Great job, stack those hips. 15 more seconds, see if you can get a couple more in. Whew, squeeze the glutes on the top. Good, 10 more seconds. You're almost there. Good, five more. And I want you to finish in that plank position wherever you're at. And let's hit your spider rotations next. So keeping with the upper body rotation, but also introducing a little bit more flexibility in the lower body. Just because we're focused on upper body does not mean we also want the lower body to be loose because the lower body will help us stabilize. Great work. 10 more seconds, please. Good, focus on keeping those hips square to the floor, then add your rotation. Good, keep going. Three, two, one, finished. Go ahead and come up to the top. Okay, guys, the first block, so I mentioned our main portion, we're actually gonna separate into two blocks. The first block, we're gonna focus on chest and back. Now, I have two movements. We're gonna start with a chest press and a chest fly, so it's a combo move. We'll do that for a minute, then we'll pop up, and we're gonna use that paddle row that you saw in full body chisel, only we're gonna add a little bit of a dynamic movement and separate side by side. Sebastian, this is where I'm thinking about you. You're gonna isometrically hold as each arm goes. Okay, 20 seconds before we start, our first minute will be up. So go ahead and find a weight that is gonna be challenging, but also that you can execute safely. Now, when we did full body chisel, I did have my bench out, and I decided today to do it without a bench, just to show you variety, but if you have a bench, you can definitely do this first move with your bench. Otherwise, you're gonna come down on the ground, and we, I'm actually gonna push my hips up a little bit. Here we go. So you're gonna start at the top. We're gonna come into that fly. Then as you come up, rotate your dumbbells in and come down to your press. So we're going between the movements. And again, you're here for a full minute. So what that means is that you have plenty of time, no need to rush. And I'm thinking about Sebastian just because he's doing body weight, so if that's also you, what I want you to do is definitely get into this glute bridge with me and work on just moving through that range of motion slowly. Good, you can even go into some floor angels <laughs> and work through some shoulder mobility as well. Good, we got 15 more seconds, team. And then you're gonna come up to the top and we're gonna hit that alternating iso paddle row. Good, keep going, I'm just gonna come meet you at the top. Three, 
two, one, transition with me. Okay, so coming down into a bent over row position, bend your knees first, engage the core, don't lose that. Now shoot your hips back. Bring both arms up for me, please, and alternate. Here we go, one minute starts now. Alternate that row, so dropping really controlled. Now if at any point that isometric hold becomes too much, remember the paddle row, we were pulling back and in. Keep going. The paddle thought process with the paddle row is just that you are coming at a bigger range of motion versus the row, which tend to be a little bit more narrow. So we're kind of scooping, coming up and down. Great job. You're halfway there. If you are really holding that isometric contraction, keep going and make sure you're getting that nice wide range of motion. Beautiful. Now I just look up to watch the clock. You're keeping your gaze down and you wanna know why? You wanna keep that spine neutral the entire time. Good. We're gonna do two sets. And the transition is basically just getting into each exercise positioning because there's opposing muscle groups in action. Take your break now, come down with me. So we can afford to go pretty quickly, which I like to do to utilize our time. So come down, five seconds, bring the weights in. If you wanna drive the hips up like me, please go for it. And let's begin. Chest fly, rotate it in and chest press. Okay, think about tucking the chin, keeping the abs tight. Now, as you're going in and out of that chest press to chest fly, I want you to think about wide range of motion. Now, this is your workout, as you guys know. So I'm just gonna coach you through a couple things. Just really think about these cues as I'm giving them to you. As you press up, I want you to think about reaching out with your elbows and connecting to your chest. You wanna also keep the abs tight, no rib flare, and think about the chest flexing and the range of motion might shorten and that's okay, especially on that fly. You wanna be really mindful of your shoulder joint. 15 more seconds, I'll finish these last couple with you. So keep a slight bend in your elbow, then rotate here, reach out long with the elbow and press. Good, sometimes the range of motion is limited by the fact that our chest is such a tight muscle group. Finish your last one, come on up. So do your best, but think about the range of motion and always stop at your end range. Okay, last set of our ISO alternating paddle row, and then we'll go into our next block. All right, here we go, team. Alternate. So you think about one arm coming down, then scoop it back up, then the other arm down, and you scoop it back up. Great job. Now as you lower the arm, One thing you should definitely feel right away is your glutes engage and grab on. You wanna know why, keep going. And that's why we wanna warm up lower body because it's stabilizing your body as we move. And it really has to be the factor that anchors you and keeps your core tight as well so that your low back doesn't take any of that extra heat. You feel more, I like that. Great job. You guys, that's what it's all about. It's all about improving the range of motion and form so that you get more out of it and you improve your mind-muscle connection. That's everything. Okay, five more seconds. Good, and I'm gonna give us a 45-second transition break. Time, okay. Next, you're gonna wanna take a little bit of weight off. We're gonna go between shoulders, buys, and tries. So once you just select a weight, I'm gonna drop mine down and we're gonna come out. Now, in our full body chisel, We did do a shoulder combo, and I am just gonna change it up just a little bit. So while you guys are selecting your weights, watch me, you have 20 seconds. So we're gonna go into a front side raise, but it's gonna be isometric, so watch. Front, side, and down. So you're gonna hold that a little longer, yes? Okay, five seconds before we start, and we're gonna go up. I always remember it as up, side, down. Here we go. Up, bring it across, lower the weight. Nice job. Bring it up, keep your abs tight, and down. Oh, good. I love the comment of feeling more flexible. Flexibility is one of the components of fitness that I'm really passionate about. If this by chance is maybe your first time working out with me, just know I do a lot of flexibility and mobility stretch workouts as well. 
So make sure to look out for that. Good, we're halfway there. Now if you start to fatigue, I wanna show you something. You can go back to front side and you switch at the bottom. That extra isometric hold is what makes it a little bit more challenging, but you always know that you have options to take if needed. Good. The key is just don't stop moving. Just take the options that work best for you in that moment. All right, we're going right into alternating tricep kickbacks. Come with me. So one arm at a time. These transitions are gonna be a little bit quicker than our first block because we're all standing or they are all standing. We are standing in all of them. Good, so keep your elbows in a fixed position. I'm always trying to give you guys different angles. Keep going, so you want 90 degrees. Kick it back, release. Now one thing, if you feel any pinch in your neck while you're in that position, the weight's too heavy, so that's okay. You're gonna drop it down. Keep going, guys. Because we're in each move for a minute, don't push through form that feels a little risky for you just because you wanna stay in the movement. Switch it right away. Form is everything. You're not gonna do your body any service by pushing through poor form ever. Keep going. We're going into Zotman curls next. Finish your last one or two. Watch me. You're gonna curl up, rotate, press down. Good, so the movement, come up and down slow. So this is different. Good, keep going. If you're thinking, mm, I don't know, you can hit regular curls always. Good, pull it up and hit regular because I have a little bit of an upper body burnout coming at the end. So we're gonna hit some hammer curls at that point. Keep going team. We are gonna hit two sets just like we did in our first block. So you got 20 more seconds. Now here's the key, always be resetting your posture, making sure your elbows are in a fixed position and you're not letting the weights pull your shoulders down. Really good integrity in the upper body. Nice job. You ready to go to shoulders? Five more seconds. Try to just transition right into it and let's begin. Remember, up, side, down. Easy way to remember it. Now notice, I have a slight bend in my elbow and that's just to support my joint. My shoulders are doing the work so you don't wanna lock out that elbow. Yes. And your option, right here, then you switch at the base, right here. If you today are doing this, this workout and this move feels a little bit better, stick with this and then that is the way that you come back and you always have a way to upgrade. Good, and I hope you guys are enjoying that I go back and add the time codes and the exercises after class. So even when we get into like the finishers, you can always click the time code and you know exactly where it's gonna take you in the workout. Good, keep going. Tricep kickbacks alternating. Let's hit it, come on down. Pressing back. Now again, no break, the transition is so fast, but I strategically placed these muscle groups together in a circuit because, for example, we're hitting our triceps, next set biceps, they're opposing muscle groups. So that's where the programming becomes really important. Just know that there's a lot of thought. Keep going, guys. Up and down, whoop. Okay, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure what happened there. Keep going, team. <sighs> Great job. Up. Keep pressing. We were just in the flow. That's all right. We are all good, you guys. Keep going. All right, you got just a few more seconds. And we are going to go right into our bicep Zotman curls coming up next in three, two, one. Begin. Zotman curl, here we go. Pull it up and press it down. Nice job, really nice stable base. Okay, I mentioned to you that I had a little bit of a burnout at the end, yes? We are gonna hit push up to triceps. So we're gonna alternate between the two. Then we're gonna pop up and hit hammer curl to tricep kickback. 
Good. Keep going. I got 30 seconds. <sighs> nice. You really want to control and make sure that elbow is in a fixed position. And push. Nice job. <sighs> 20 more seconds. Keep breathing. Keep those feet firmly planted. Keep those abs tight. Know that as we get towards the end of this workout, that's when the, it's the most challenging. Good. Sebastian, I hope you are feeling, even with body weight, that you're making improvements in your form. Three, two, one, break. Okay, go ahead and set your dumbbells down. You can stick with the same weight that you have. The first move is a body weight move. So I'm gonna give you just a little bit more time on your break. Make sure you grab a sip, and you're gonna meet me down on the ground, and we're gonna go into our first move. So we're gonna travel between wide and narrow push-ups. 30 seconds before we go. I'm just adjusting one thing. You know, we always gotta roll with the punches, right? All right, you guys, so we're gonna do one set. I got three moves and one set of each. So it's truly a burnout. So watch this push-up combo and then you can come with me and we're gonna start when that clock reads four minutes. So wide to narrow push-ups, meaning wide, then you're gonna walk your hands in and hit narrow. You can do this on your toes as well. One minute each, one set. So nothing to hold back for. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Wide, walk it in, core tight, narrow. Beautiful, walk it out. Whew. Notice my pace. There's no rush. There is no rush in this entire workout because one minute is enough time for you to definitely get anywhere from 15, even 20 sometimes reps. Good, keep going. And I'm just gonna start to talk to you as you're getting through this first exercise, because we're only doing one set, what you're gonna do next. Good, so just a few more and then I'll pop up and show you. Walk it in. Good. 20 more seconds. Now when you finish, you're gonna come up and we're gonna hit a double row, stand tall to a shoulder press. The weight that you have that you just did for that last block is totally enough, so no need to adjust. Good, finish your last five seconds and then jump up with me. Quick little transition time is fine. Pop on up, I'll give you 15 seconds. You can also watch me. So it's gonna look like this. A double paddle row, stand tall, and a shoulder press on top. Yes, come with me. Here we go. Double row, so we're hitting a little back. Come on up, shoulder press. Now it's a narrow shoulder press, meaning I'm keeping it in that nice neutral grip. Squeeze through, tight glutes, press it up. Yes. You guys, we're almost done. This is that last little bit that when you're not, sure, you're not sure if you have enough in the tank, this is where you show yourself, you know what, I actually, I'm a little stronger than I thought. And this is where you build that confidence in yourself that you can do it. Sometimes our mind is the biggest limiting factor, correct? Come on. Squeeze through, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna finish with tricep kickback to hammer curl. We did do this in our full body chisel. It's your last minute. You guys are almost there, five more seconds. Just take a peek. Okay, watch me, and then start when you're ready. And then come up, hammer curl. Here we go. So come back. Both arms kick it back, stand up, and hammer curl. So still with that narrow grip. I keep calling it narrow. It's really neutral, but it feels more narrow, right? The weights are narrow. Nice job. Squeeze through. You guys earned this last little bit here. It's always about how we finish. So let those muscles really, really push in these last few seconds. Good. I'm gonna give us 20 more seconds. You guys got it. Bring it up, kick it back. Squeeze the glutes, curl it in. All right, you guys, you're almost there. 10 more seconds. Squeeze the glutes, elbows in. Nice job, three, two, one, you made it. Go ahead and set your dumbbells down. Now, just like our other chisel workouts, I go right until the end. 
the next workout that I recommend is that you do a static stretch, or you could even hit the lower body chisel day if you have more energy. From here, I'm just giving you a little bit of a shake out, step and twist side to side. The reason I have so many stretch options for you is so that if you wanna do another workout now, you can add it in, otherwise you can go hit that 10 minute static stretch. Good, just step side to side, give me a couple sweeps, and you are on your way. Good, big reach overhead. Whew. All right, you guys, last one. One final big deep breath, inhale, exhale. Whew. Bring your hands together, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you guys so much for joining me live today for this workout. I will be back on Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Message me if you have any questions or comments. Other than that, drink a lot of water and go hit up a stretch workout if you are done for today. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care.